really need to do uh, fix uh, technology-wise are the uh, the cell phones. Those have been out a while. They need to work now, don't you think? <laughs> I was just talking to my dad tonight. He, he called me earlier. He called me from his cell, and I, I hate when my dad calls me from his cell because, well, it's embarrassing having a dad in prison. And so I um, <laughs> just want to make sure you're paying attention. Okay. No. <laughs> I hate when he goes from the cell phone because he's in the city. He's always in his car. And my dad's one of those guys who'll call you from the car and then he spends half the conversation yelling at traffic while you talk to him on the phone. <laughs> Every chat with him is like, hey, dad, what's up, guys? Yeah, stay up in the car. Just got to work. I was wondering if you... Screw you! <laughs> dad, it's not you. This cab just cut me off. Did you see that son of a... <laughs> oh, yeah. I love when he asks me that brilliant question. Did you see that son of a... Yeah, no, I didn't, Dad. <laughs> I think I have to go change my underwear now. Thank you very much. <laughs> I told him, I said, I told him he's not allowed to call me from the car anymore. In fact, I told him he's also not allowed to leave me messages from the car. That's just as a bad. Because what I'm saying, in New York, with the buildings, the signal cuts out, he wonders why I don't return like half of his calls, because he keeps leaving messages on my voicemail like this. Beep. Yeah, stay with your father here. I'm in the car. It's got to work. Uh, I've, been, I've, I've been later tonight. <laughs> So I was wondering if up at 8.30 would be great. So can you give me a call? I'll be at 212. Ours! My... My dad is... Uh, my dad's a character. My, my, my dad, the reason my dad talks that way is... Well, he doesn't talk that way. That, that'd be weird. Like, hey, Stephen. Up and later. And then other... That'd be creepy. Ooh, did I just do jazz hands on a comedy show? How did... Let's just keep that between us and the millions of people at home. I, uh... No, the reason my dad talks away, my dad's a newscaster, so he's got that really deep, loud, authoritative broadcaster voice, which on TV is great, but in public, unnecessary. And the worst is when you're a little kid and you're growing up and you get in trouble and you've got to get yelled at or scolded by someone who talks like that, it puts the fear of God into you. Oh, yeah, especially with my dad, who, by the way, was like king of the scolders. I had one of these dads, I think half the time he was inventing stuff to scold us about, because some of it didn't even make sense. He actually once said this to me, he goes, hey, knock it off. You know, when I was your age, I was a lot older than you. <laughs> my, I think dad's been drinking. <laughs> But the worst, though, is if ever I was so bad that my mom would have to go and, like, call him up at work. You know when moms finally are fed up? They've had, oh, that's it, I'm calling your father. That was the worst, because he was already in that newscaster frame of mind. So whenever I'd get yelled at, I always felt like I was a breaking story. Oh, yeah, he'd pick up the phone in that newscaster cadence. He didn't play. Like, ah, your father. Now your mother just told me what you did. Well, I'll tell you something, mister. You're in a lot of trouble. And you're going to get it when I get home. Tonight at 11. <laughs> My mom is, uh, my, mom, my mom is funny too with the messages. She, her problem is the opposite. My mom will call you up. You know, if somebody has a, a, a story to tell you, they'll, they'll call you up on your machine and they'll say, uh, they'll say, hey dude, I got a funny story for you. Call me back. And, and then you call them back and they tell you the story. My mom just leaves the entire story on the answering machine. <laughs> and it's not even important stuff. It's like where she went shopping that day, medical updates from distant family members I hadn't even seen since I'm eight, you know. So I basically got a brand new phone number just for my parents to leave me their crazy messages. And I have a good old fashioned answering machine to go with it, with the button. So now when I'm home and they call, I listen to their messages like this. Beep. Hi, sweetie, it's your mother, remember me? I'm the woman who gave birth to you. It's been three days and I would like to know that you're still alive. Look at me, I'm sitting here and I am reading through the obituary column. And I am not seeing your name any place. So I'm expecting a call. Cool, love you. Beep. Yeah, see what's your father here. I'm in the car. Your mother's calling. I don't know where you are. So, I don't know. Of course. Beep. Hi, sweetie. Guess who? I love guess who. Like, I have no idea whose voice. Is. Sweetie, it's mom. Where are you? Wait a <laughs> Lunch next weekend. Because it's your sister's birthday. And everyone's coming over, and we're <laughs> shopping yesterday, and I bought the most beautiful 30% off. I couldn't believe it. And the woman with him, because Aunt Sylvia's stool sample came back from the lab. I don't know, the doc. When I was nine, No, 
one more memory. That's it for me, guys. You've been awesome. Enjoy the show. Good night.